On the Files and Links screen, we can attach information to the estimate that we may want to reference later on as we're working. And so there's three different options on how to include those, those, uh, that information on the Files and Links screen. We've got the ability to add files, like just a straight file, like a drawing, in this case, uh, drawing M2, for example, or if that's a uh, specification or tender form or instructions to bidders, either way, you can attach that file in PDF form or whatever that you have on your computer that you use to um, uh, read, like a Word document or a Excel document. Um, this will display your uh, drawing in your, in this case, your PDF reader. So that's one format. That's a, a direct uh, copy of that document in your estimate now. And there's two others. And they're both uh, link uh, oriented. There's a folder association that you can create. So we can navigate to a folder that we have access to either on our local computer or on our network. And we could say, all right, um, I want to open up or I want to access my drawings and uh, they're for this particular estimate. Okay, so we can uh, create that link, give it a name. And once we click OK, that icon appears and we can double click it and it's going to open that folder and display the contents. Now there's that M2 drawing that we attached earlier, but this is another way to access that information. Only this way we're just opening up the folder and displaying everything that's in it. The third method of adding information to your estimate is to use a link to a website. So if you're on a website and you're researching a piece of information then you can, uh, let's say we're looking at a uh, some information on a piece of equipment, then we can copy this URL and we can paste it in here and we can give it a name. And so uh, that will give us a link back to that website after we've uh, researched our electrical characteristics or our mechanical characteristics, whichever the case might be. So that now is a, uh, a link back to that website. So if we double click that, then it's going to bring us right back to that particular website and that particular uh, document, actually. We hope you enjoyed this video. Visit mep.trimble.com for even more product resources.